Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family Happy Hour. Cheers. Thank you for joining us for another one of these. Yeah. On Friday nights, we sit here and shop for our Great Loop boat. We are departing our family of four for the Great Loop in about 17 months from now. Yeah, so we are yeah. starting to, rather than be in the dreaming phase, we're actually getting close to needing to make a selection on our Great Loop boat. And so that's what we do on Friday nights. We just sit here and uh, look at boats and uh, some of them that you guys have suggested are on our list. And so we really appreciate the feedback. Really? Uh, watching our videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, uh, comment if we've missed a model of boat that would be good for the Great Loop. Please tell us. Because we love that kind of feedback. And uh, we'll uh, probably review the boat that you send us. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. Tonight we have a vintage boat. And uh, that's something that's near and dear to my heart because mm -hmm. I love antique and uh, classic boats. And so tonight we're looking at a 1973 Stevens Brothers 48-foot uh, boat. It is wooden, which uh, can be a love-hate thing. Yeah. Uh, it could be <laughs> a just a not recommended for the loop thing. Um, let us know what you guys think. But uh, let's look, go through this boat. I love uh, wood boats. I started a wooden boat tour business uh, here in Portland, Oregon. It's just something that's near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. So this one is uh, 165K, a little outside our budget, but... Um, it's a good length, 48 it, 48 feet. feet, and it's in Detroit, Michigan, which would be perfect for us. Perfect. We want to start the loop in the summertime so we could learn the boat in the Great Lakes, mm -hmm. uh, and then in the fall start descending down the uh, river system, inland rivers, and then pop out in the Gulf around uh, Thanksgiving time and winter in the Keys and the Bahamas and Florida and then come back up the East Coast in the spring through the Erie Canal, Erie Canal and then pop back out into the Great Lakes the following summer mm -hmm. and then sell our boat and move back here to the West Coast. Sell the boat. So uh, let's take a look at this, this and see looks if it's a good option. So our speed. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Look at that dinghy up there. It's so cute. Yeah and this actually hit my radar because it, uh, the, the story of this boat was in the um, Antique and Classic Boat Society uh, newsletter that comes out. And so I saw that with great interest. And then lo and behold, it wasn't listed as for sale there. But lo and behold, I just stumbled across it here on Yacht World. So you just stumbled across it. Serendipity, it. right? Uh, Serenity Now. Uh, might have to rename it Serendipity. Right. Uh, but love, love wood, love the wooden transom, love the wooden swim step. Yeah. Um, nice stern pole here. It just bright I, work makes him happy. It really does. Um, and even doing the varnish on bright work, in some ways, it's a love hate thing, but it does make me happy. Too. I really do like the blue paint on the, the, on the whole side. Sides? Yeah, the whole side. Yeah, it looks sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I wait, I'm boarding going. ladder, not like a love taking groceries up the ladder. Well, we have family of four. We can yeah. have a little fireman's brigade to. Bring baskets mm -hmm. in but it looks like a wide enough walkway uh, around the side from these kind of wing areas back up from the sun deck area and yeah there's a little bit of bright work everywhere mm -hmm. uh, which is nice I, I, mean, Fancy. I like it yeah uh i think because of the vintage of boat everything is going to be a little bit harder to deal with like this anchor windlass is very right. old school this is not like an Manual. automatic remote control yeah. hit a button and uh the, it, it that's, reflects the... That's going to be hard. <laughs> well, and, and that may be a no-go because oh. of the utility needs of the Great Loop, right? right? You're using your boat every single day. It's not a, a you know right. Memorial Day, Labor Day, three-day weekend kind of a cruiser. It's uh, something that we really need to be out there using in, uh, every day. But I love that couch. Me too. I think it's terrific. Hanging out up front. Yeah, nice. This is updated, obviously. Um, hatch here. Some nice deck boxes for storage. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. I Sun could definitely see us hanging out up there. It's been updated. I mean, we've got radar up here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, love the I mean, it's like a mid-wide walkway, so yeah. yeah, totally nice. And then here we are inside. So this is kind of like combo pilot house, fly bridge, sundeck. Uh, sun deck. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's all one area here. It's, so it should definitely be short enough to go through under 19 and a half feet. Yeah, so because it doesn't have a formal fly bridge, right. um, it would be quite a bit short, yeah. So no height issues there. Uh, I like this area though. You can hang out on mm -hmm. the sun deck. You, you have 360 degrees of view around while you're hanging out there. So you can right. like stand up and just poke your head around and, and see in all areas, mm -hmm. which a lot of the times the sun deck, you can't see forward, right? Because you have usually stairs up to the fly right. bridge or something there. So I kind of like that. It looks mm -hmm. like a wet bar here. I don't know if there's a fridge hiding behind one of these cabinets, but sink and uh, helm station. Yeah, nice. And, and you can be uh, dining or homeschooling or mm -hmm. hanging out here while captain's driving, which is yeah. a nice feature. Lots of pictures of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looks like a you can close it. little hatch here to get you down to the swim platform. Again, that wet bar. Well, and that'll also allow for line handling. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, looks like comfortable for the captain. I don't know that there's a bench here that other folks can mm. uh, join in piloting the boat. It's a nice, just vintage uh, wheel. Again, there's just varnish everywhere. It's a nice big dash for mm -hmm. looking out. Good visibility for an older boat. And this yeah, is... maybe this does sit on a bench because I see a little bit of cushion right there. Ah, more maybe, yeah, for sure more modern gauges. This is about the same vintage as um, a tally craft that we have that we can... Oh, that's right. ...that we can uh, sleep on and we'll be going to tomorrow. But uh, this is nicer. Mm. <laughs> So clearly updated here with lots of new electronics. So it looks like a couple of different VHF radios, mm -hmm. uh, some different transducers and senders and things, and a huge MFD uh, multifunction display uh, by Ray Marine over here. So mm -hmm. chart plotter and everything. So even though it's a vintage boat, uh, lots of good stuff. And then, oh, here's, yeah, so that, a bench. So you can sit. Oh, that's the captain's chair on a bench. On a bench, yeah. I see. So a couple of folks can join the captain while piloting that. Boat. So if you're doing an overnight crossing, can you take that off and then lay down? I don't know that you would do that. I mean, somebody needs to be on watch all the time. Well, yeah, somebody's on watch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And then where are we going here? Oh, so this is forward now from the helm station. So down in to, to the salon. Okay. And it looks just kind of plain. So we got painted wood everywhere. So not the normal kind of dark teak yeah. kind of wood but fine and maybe a little just plain and maybe outdated and the carpet is this really the somewhere. living area because it looks like a a hard top sun deck no this is coming down from the pilot house mm -hmm. into that area i agree just because of the furniture and mm -hmm. things but i think and the white yeah but i think you could um you know make this your own put in a nice uh, leather sectional or mm -hmm a couple of nice recliners or something down there mm -hmm. and uh, update it with like a TV or whatever you want. No, so, okay, maybe so the down living, another the living level. Is and, and we're in like probably the galley here. It looks like a small fridge mm -hmm. and then some more steps down to some forward stateroom. Okay. And then here's the forward stateroom. So, so sparse. Sparse, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but there's that new hatch was above yeah. there. and. Lots of storage, so storage underneath both berths up here, and then I don't know if this is three stateroom boat. I think oh. I think there may be two staterooms in the back, which is again how it hit my radar. Some AC controls up here. I don't know if we have a head up front here. Something we have to look at. Um, yeah, it looked like a full closet oh, there, nice, and yeah. some nice drawers. So I think okay. And then here's the full More gallery. Like yeah, so. I like the window there. Mm hmm Make it nice. It's kind of bright. Yeah. Right. And then this, I don't know if that's that same fridge or a different fridge. It'd be nice to have a full fridge for sure. Yeah, that's a weird... Maybe there's two. Um, Maybe there's one and a half fridges. Yeah, this is just a weird um, so no, random fridge. So no dining area. So you would use that area behind the helm station. Right. Yeah. I think that's the case. Mm -hmm. that, that was a nice big sink. Three an burner oven. stove an with an oven. oven. Yeah. Which most people don't use or replace and repurpose uh, with a, not this either, a uh, microwave convection, convection oven. oven combo, yeah, and a lot of people with induction cooktops. The drink So this is like, yeah, that random drink fridge. Uh, 
I think there was another fridge in the... Maybe I thought that mis mistook this for the fridge. Maybe there's only the drink fridge. Yeah, um, see how it doesn't look very... Homey. Homey. Indoorsy. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see some nice teak and holly underneath here or, you mm -hmm. know, and maybe there is. Under the gray carpet. But it seems like a big enough space. It is, yeah. I mean, there's enough chairs and things, and and then this. Okay, so now we're now we're heading aft into the kind of aft stateroom area. Yeah, see, there's another chair and furniture and table over there, so we can. I think you can redo this room and make it pretty stellar. Yeah, I'd say. Okay. okay, so now we're down third stateroom, and this looks like the third stateroom. So another uh, single berth with drawers underneath and a closet in the yeah, same thing. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, two, two, two single berths in here. Nice. So that, that's, yeah. So room for guests and we could repurpose this with storage or Sleep bookshelves overs. and things. Looks like a new sheet of plywood up here. So maybe there was some leaking vintage boats yeah. and doesn't that happens. really scare me away. Yeah. So I didn't see a head it forward at all. Okay. So this head must be in that aft area of mm -hmm. the boat. And there we get some of that. Yeah. Wood. Wood. Uh, Kind of look, and then this is the master stateroom, right? So, so it looks like oh, off here to the right is the two, two single mm -hmm. staterooms, and then uh, here's the master. Uh oh. Which is two two, beds. two twin beds, which that's a deal maybe, breaker. Maybe a deal breaker. Deal breaker. And in this layout, no there's, snuggling. There's just no scooting them together, you know, like right because that. Because there's a big closet, closet right here, and probably tankage or something that is built in, and yeah, so that. I mean, could you turn them the other way, ninety degrees? No, I mean this you is mean, all completely built in. There's just right. no. So there's a like a vanity I mean, section you could here, build a, a platform a between platform. them. Let me let's see. Or just build a platform. I mean, you'd be blocking the closet, but. Yeah, it's a bummer. That's like what you'd love, because totally you know that's a lower. that's king size of space, right? Because right? it's two twins, which is pushed together to be a, a king. But I'm not sharing a twin bed. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Uh, uh, so sad. It's such a beautiful boat. Yeah. If you don't like the snuggle, Why? this would be perfect. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice storage through. and drawers and vintage everywhere. Uh, looks like we're heading into the. Maybe a built-in dresser. Yeah. Two built-in dressers. Is that a bathroom? Keep. Yeah. Here we go. The aft. Uh -huh. That's it. That's all you get. That's, That's all you get. The yeah. bathroom. Yeah. Oh, and then you have to pull up the floor in the living room. I don't know if you can crawl in. The probably doesn't look. There's no space in between these motors to crawl in between them. So these are big Detroit diesels under the salon floor here. Which would be a pain in the butt to lift those hatches and uh, check it's, them out every especially day. Especially if it's in the middle of your cozy living room. That's right. Mm. Yeah. And I think the, yeah, the gray carpeting has been rolled up here. Yeah. So the whole section. This makes me sad. So for the loop, you are going to want to lift those hatches and inspect your motors, you know, usually twice a day, right? right? Once before you go and once afterwards for... Uh, sounds and smells and drips and uh, yeah. things. It looks like this is a leisure boat. Yeah. Not a great loop boat. These look like nice motors, but uh, for as much as we need to use a, a boat. Yeah. <laughs> You're still trying to make it work. Yeah, I am. <laughs> thinking, how could you <laughs> get down in there? But yeah, for a wooden hold boat, I. Yeah, with modern, tons of modern electronics. So, maybe we'll start the video and we can talk about it. Want to make it work? I know you do. I think a couple things. The twins, we could talk about it, maybe get overcome. If maybe I can give up snuggles for the, the, the loop, or we get a nice couch for snuggles. Um, there is, yeah, engine access. Mm -hmm. And then there's just all the old boat kinds of things, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for as much as we need to use and rely on the boat to get us 6,000 miles, it's not, this would be perfect for weekending, yes. for taking the family out and things. 
it just, I think, may not fit the bill for what we're looking for, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we just need to bring this back for us for after the loop. There you go. It's going to be perfect for after the loop. Yeah. For a large family, too, right? Two births up front, two births in, yeah, the, sleep six. in that third stateroom, and then two in the in the aft. Mm-hmm. And then in that center area, you could have a fold-out couch, too. So this is a, a large boat for 48 feet to be able to fit all of that That's true. in. And I like the layout for entertaining here on the sun deck and have it integrated entertaining with boat. the pilot yeah. um, house area here. Now, normally, when we look at boats, there's, you know, two, sometimes three three refrigerators and this one only has if that one. really that wall fridge was like it that's also a showstopper right because yeah. you need to provision for days at a time right and there's, there's a part on the rivers where like it's a week right yeah i think yeah and then definitely no washer dryer well, yeah the nice to haves right the washer dryer the dishwasher mm-hmm. um yeah there's that weird wall fridge you go down <laughs> and i think to the right then must be the galley Let's see if the video gives us any help there. And and all the berths are small, right? These front berths are small. The third stateroom berths are small. That's, I mean, small is fine. Yeah, but a lot of high schoolers. I mean, it's not... Maybe that was... Uh, I keep looking for a fridge. Maybe there's a hole for a fridge. Right here to the right, this thing. Oh. Yeah, to the left right there. Bring is that your own a fridge? hole for... Yeah. And then the drink fridge. I mean, that's possible. But could you imagine trying to get a fridge into there? Oh, geez. Yes, we will take delivery. We'll pay for that. (laughs) Two two guys in a hand truck show up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I I don't mind this area. I think we could... Yeah, but I don't want to be moving furniture around. That's why it's in the corners. To get out the... Yeah, at the engines. At the engines, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You know, normally these stairs would hinge up. To, in, in fact, I just saw the hinges. So yeah, you can get in the oh, front of those okay. engines that way. So that might not be the showstopper. I like this for a stateroom for, it's a, great for a kid. Third With stateroom. Lots of totally. storage underneath all of the berths, and then uh, in that closet in between. We haven't seen much of shower wise. Hmm. Yeah. Have we seen any shower? No. Mm. I mean, I assume that there are showers, but. I assume people showered in the 70s when this was made, but... <laughs> yeah, you just wonder about the mechanicals too, right? Like I see uh, heating and air stuff all over the place, but I don't know if the compressors are newish or... Right. Um... Yeah, stuff will break. But this too, I mean, you can repower this easily through that floor. It's a, a haul to get those up and out of there, but... Yeah, we love ourselves a wood boat, but I but don't know. But it's not that. our lifetime boat, so we don't have to buy and I what's going to be our lifetime boat. I think resale is another thing, yes. is that this has a particular uh, customer that would buy it. And us, I, it's probably been on the market a bit, and uh, we would have to find us after we complete the loop. Right. Uh, and in the north, with a planked hull boat that... Uh, needs to swell up in the spring if it's hauled out and certainly in Detroit there's hard freezes and so mm-hmm. that, that just gives you all kinds of grief and stress about how to deal with it. Yeah. So I love it. I would love a, a wood boat to do the loop but it would have to be laid out right and it would have to be resellable maybe further south so we don't get into hard freezes and have mm-hmm. it haul out and planks dry out and all that. So not our boat. Not yeah, our boat. Maybe our not our boat. Not our boat. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us again for another on fire family happy hour. Cheers. Cheers.